Hey guys, welcome to another video in the Free Sky series. And today's topic comes from a comment I received on one of the videos, which is, um, can I show how to set up an airspeed sensor to do callouts during a landing approach? And absolutely I can. So a couple of things with that. Notice said airspeed, and that's um, a very important thing. This will not work or it will not work right, I should say, with a GPS sensor because a GPS sensor is not accurate enough and it has way too much latency. I believe from when it does the reading to when it's displayed on your screen is about three seconds. I do believe that um, the latency is involved because it's got to measure distance over time. So um, uh, for the GPS sensor that FreeSky has, um, it definitely won't work um, very well, I don't think. Um, you can try it, um, but I don't think it's going to work uh, very well for you. Um, airspeed is pretty instantaneous. Um, it seems to um, uh, go right away. If you want to see that, I have a video um, on this site that I did way early called GPS versus airspeed. <clears throat> and on the screen, I show a GPS speed or a GPS speedometer and an airspeed speedometer. And you can tell pretty instantly how how much delayed and how how wildly inaccurate a GPS sensor is, especially during um, ascents and descents. Um, so anyways, um, yeah, you got to use an airspeed sensor. The second thing that we're going to do is now figure out how we're going to activate that airspeed sensor. So um, what I figured out is, and, and again, you can do whatever you want. You can have whatever conditions. You got to have some conditions that you decide are when you want it to activate that call out. So when, are you, when do you want to call out? You probably want to call out every few seconds. So I'm going to guess and say around six seconds. So every six seconds you want it to say what the airspeed is. Now you don't want that during flight. That's going to get really annoying. So you got to come up with conditions. So the, the first one would probably be this one over here is my gear switch. So when my gear is down, um, call out airspeed. But you can add some more conditions. So for example, I'm going to use this switch over here and it's got to be in the up position and while it's in the up position and the gear is down then call out airspeed this i'll use as an override so if i'm flying along and starts doing some call outs it gets annoying i can go ahead hit the switch and it'll stop doing a call out and another one that you want to might want to do is a low airspeed <clears throat> so if you're on the ground and you're taxiing um, your gear is down this switch would probably be up and you don't want to, you know, hear that during taxiing. So maybe you can do a minimum speed. So it's got to be at least 10 miles per hour, let's just say. So above 10 miles per hour, this switch in the up position and landing gear down. Um, you can add some more so that it stops calling out when you're in flight. So whatever your minimum flight speed is, you can add that. I'm not going to do that for this one. I'd say it's up to you, but you can use the same process and add whatever you think you need, um, you know, uh, for this to make it functional and not annoying. Um, so anyways, let's get started. So the first thing is this plane um, is my MB339. It's already got an airspeed sensor in it. Um, but I'll just go ahead and like kind of quickly, I'm hoping that you understand how to install an airspeed sensor. Um, but I'll just go pretty quickly through it. So the first thing that you need to do is, um, you know, if, if this is a brand new model um, and you're adding an airspeed sensor to it, uh, you want to go into RF system. If you've got a TD type receiver, a tandem receiver, generally speaking, use one of the channels to be your uh, where you plug in your telemetry devices and you do it uh, via S-port. So over here is my TD-10R that I have in my MB339. If I hit set over here and go into options, now you'll notice that one of them, which is the last one, so this is not channel 10, this is pin 10. And the reason for that is it's no longer channel 10, it is set to smart port. You can come over here, click on that, and change it from channel 10, which would be um, whatever the, that would be the default, to smart port. And when you do that, now you plug your um, telemetry sensor, like your airspeed sensor, on FreeSky. It's the, um, you know, funnily named um, ASS sensor, the AAS70 sensor, which is what I'm using um, in this plane. And um, you plug it into smart port, and that would be pin 10. Some of the other receivers, they actually have a dedicated um, smart port. The TD um, um, R10 should have one, but apparently it's not working yet. So hopefully it will be working in the future, so I don't um, give up a channel. But, you know, anyways. So um, once you do that, you come over here and go out. Um, 
you go into the uh, model menu and go to telemetry. And then you want to go ahead and discover new sensors. Turn that off. And then you'll see the airspeed sensor there. In here, if you want, you can edit it. And you might have to change it to whatever your unit of choice is. So in my case, it's miles per hour, but you can do feet per second, kilometers per hour. Um, I'll, of course, do uh, miles per hour. There's your, your range of speed, which you don't have to change. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. That's all you pretty much need. If you want to add a reset to it, you can uh, you can do that. Um, anyways, so now that your sensor is set up, let's go ahead and go through the process. So again, I want a couple of conditions. I want my gear down. I want to switch up so that I can override it by flipping that switch down. And I want a minimum airspeed. Um, it's got to be at least 10 miles per hour before um, it'll do any of the call out. So uh, what I'd ideally like it to do is during, um, as, as I come into my landing approach, um, gears are down and um, it starts calling out what the speed is and you got to figure out how much time between call outs. So maybe every six, seven seconds, it would do a call out. So let's go and set that up. I'm going to go into model. I'm going to page over using this button over here to the next page. And I'll go over here to logic switches. The first logic switch I am going to set up, I'm going to add is going to be the uh, minimum airspeed. So I'm going to call it min air SPD. So minimum airspeed. So the function that I want is going to be A is greater than X. So it's got to be greater than a, sp a, spe a specific number. So A is going to be telemetry. I'm going to come over here to telemetry and find airspeed. There it is. So airspeed is greater than I'm going to guess 10 miles per hour. So this switch, so you notice it's red right now. This will not activate until airspeed is greater than 10 miles per hour. So right now it's not because I'm on the ground and I'm not, I'm not moving. And that's it. All right. So that's set. And we're going to add another logical switch. And this switch is going to be um, maybe A, S, airspeed, trigger. Call it whatever you want. Now, the function that I want for this is an AND switch, A-N-D. There it is. Now, the first value that I want is going to be my landing gear, my landing gear down. The next value that I want is going to be um, my override switch. My override switch has to be up. So notice that that logical switch um, uh, label over there is now green. If one of those condi conditions is not met, for example, my override switch, I hit the wrong one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's not, um, I, I said and, and it probably clicked over one by accident. It's, it was an or switch. An or switch would mean any of those um, things. But in this case, I want an and switch. So let's try it now. So right now it's green. If I go ahead and flip my override switch, it's red. So this switch will not trigger. And if my gear is not down, my switch will not trigger either. So it has to be those two conditions. Let's add one more. And that other condition that we want is going to be a logical switch. And a logical switch that we want will be minimum airspeed. So the minimum airspeed um, has to be met as well. So all three functions have to be met before this, trick, uh, this uh, will trigger. Switch has to be in the up position, gear has to be down, and minimum airspeed has to be above 10 miles per hour. There you go. So that is, so the airspeed trigger is what we want. We've got to put it somewhere. So we're going to put it into a special function. So over here to special uh, function anywhere in the list, I'll go ahead and do an add. And I'm going to add a new special function. And I want to play value. So we'll enable it. Active condition will now be my logic switch. The logic switch that I want will be my airspeed trigger. There you go. And the value 
that so the value that I'm going to play so play value and what value will I play and the value that I will play will be a telemetry value of airspeed okay and repeat every six seconds so obviously so I'm it that's it it's set it's going to work obviously the problem is is when you take off this will start calling out your airspeed once it gets past 10 miles per hour I'm not really sure how to do that you could probably do a throttle thing so you know if it's above if you're at 100% throttle um, you can have another condition where it's 100% throttle. It will not, um, you know, call out your airspeed or anything above 80% throttle, for example. You, um, it will not call out airspeed. But you got to figure that out for yourself. Um, see what conditions that you want to do. But right now, it's going to um, call out during takeoff. And then, um, you know, once you're um, um, in the air, you put the gear up. It'll stop doing the call out. And when you come in for your landing um, and you, you put your gear down, um, it'll start doing the callouts too. And so it'll call out every six seconds. But that's pretty much it. Um, I have not tried this in the air. Um, I'll leave it up to you guys to give it a try, see if this is actually useful. You know, figure, I guess you could try to figure out what the stall speed is, be a big sure that you're above it. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know if I'm actually going to use this, but go ahead and give it a try. If you like it, let me know in the comments how it works out for you um, and what other conditions you have to add to make this more usable. Um, you could be in the air, um, what do you call it? So as you take off, you do an override and then turn that off um, when you come in for your landing. I don't know. Um, but um, I would say that you take off, you'll hear the airspeed call out. You, it'll remind you to, to bring the gear up. You bring the gear up and you stop hearing it anyway. So that might be okay. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, hopefully you find this useful. If, if you don't even want to do this, just remember that you can use this methodology for other stuff. You know, like... You know other telemetry things that you can do or um, this is actually a really good um, um, idea that'll show you how logical switches and special functions work uh, play around with it hopefully this you found this useful um, if you have any comments um, go ahead and comment in this video or you can send me an email at all.rc.air at gmail.com thank you very much guys and have a good night